Hello. A few days ago, I posted a Facebook video and I said that at times like this, we should be focusing on positivity, on health, on the many other things that lead us towards that, rather than focusing on the things that we have no control about and things that we uh, could become anxious about if we focus on those things. And the world has a lot of difficulties going on, whichever way you look at it, at this moment. So I said I would start to give you out some free advice on how to prepare yourself and how to move with, with success through these times by utilising what you have and working with what you're actually in control of. Because that's all we can do. There was a famous Roman emperor called Marcus Aurelius. And when he was asked what was the key to his success, effectively he said that what he used to do was every day he would write three columns. In the first column was what he was in control of. In the second column was what he was sort of in control of. And in the third column was what he wasn't in control of. So the stuff that was in the not in control column, he did nothing about that because he wasn't in control of it. The stuff that was in the sort of in control column, he did nothing about. Because that stuff would either become stuff that he was in control of or stuff that he wasn't in control of at some point in the future. But right now he wasn't in control of it, so he did nothing about it. The column he dealt with every single day was the column of the stuff that he was in control of. And by focusing on the things that he was in control of at any point and having a plan to execute, he could then work flexibly towards the achievement of the things that were in his control each day. And every day is a new day, so every day he would draw up these columns and every day he would act on the things that are in his control. So, I want to start the process. This may become a series of videos, uh, of which this effectively is, is step one. Which is, we need to have a vision, you need to have a vision of, of how you want your future to be. And instead of focusing on the difficulties that surround us at the moment, it's really important to focus on what you can do and what you're in control of and what you intend for the near, medium and long term future. And so you need to develop a plan, but what is a plan anyway? So that's effectively what today's mini presentation is about, is about the plan itself. I knew a very famous film director who said to me that you only need four things in order to be successful. Step one is you need a plan. You've got to have a plan. And uh, some of you know that I used to work in the film industry and I think if I remember rightly I worked on 12 feature films amongst other things and every single one of them delivered. But they didn't go straight from point A to point B. So if we hadn't have known where the destination was, we would have been quite lost at times. As anyone who's worked in the film industry understands, um, productions go in different directions to what are expected, but with a plan, you know where it's meant to end up. Similarly with a map of the territory, which is only a map, it's not real. It's a map of the territory, but it's not the territory itself, um, according to Korzybski. If I'm out in the mountains for real, and I have a map and a compass and I'm navigating my way towards a destination, firstly, I have to know what the destination is that I'm heading towards. Otherwise, I'm just wandering across the mountains. And secondly, I have to know where I am in order to be able to set my coordinates. And again, on a mountain in particular, uh, there's probably no straight line between point A and point B. So it's about navigating through the terrain 
whilst having my eyes fixed on the prize of the destination. And in sometimes, in some certain conditions, in winter or at night time, it might be difficult to see any distance into the future. And so it's important to be able to navigate accurately and with some confidence and to still hit the destination. Uh, many army planners know exactly the same thing. The principle of the, the seven Ps, perfect planning prevents piss poor performance uh, and variations on that. that. There has to be a plan, but the plan lasts until it actually executes and then actually you still have to have an idea on what the destination of the plan is and to navigate flexibly through what actually occurs in order to get there and to at all times keep your eyes on the prize. So I said last time to have a think about what it is that you actually want to have happen in the future. And if you haven't done that, then just pause the video at this point and give yourself half an hour to just meditate or daydream or think about it, whatever way you want to describe that process. And think about where you want to be in three months, uh, in six months, and, and in a year from now. In a year from now, we're probably completely past all of this. In three months, we're probably still, to some extent, dealing with this. But for example, I intend to be healthy in three months' time. That's definitely a destination. And I still intend to be healthy in a year's time. There are certain things that I want to be able to do during that time. And there are things that are relevant to you. So go ahead and have a think about it if you haven't already. And start to think about what that plan's going to be. So point one is plan. Uh, point two is you've got to have some sort of a feedback device. Something that tells you whether or not you're moving towards or away from the plan. Otherwise, if you wander off in a direction other than the direction that you want to head in and you're not clear in yourself, then you wouldn't know that you're in the wrong direction and be able to change, change course. So you have to have some sort of feedback. How will I know that I'm moving towards the plan that I'm setting into operation? Step three, step three is to, if what you're doing is not working, because your feedback device is telling you that, if your feedback is telling you that you're not achieving the goal that you want to achieve, then you have to stop and do something different. You know, one, of, one of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result. You've got to be flexible in your approach. Don't stick to the plan if it's not working. You've got to know the destination for the plan and to be prepared to do whatever it takes with everything you've got and then a little bit more. And it's the road less traveled is the little bit more because most people give up at various points along the way. The important thing is to not do that and to continue and to continue and to continue and to adapt and to change and to find a way through because if you clearly have your eyes on the prize of the destination and you know what it's like to succeed and get to the destination then you already got past any obstacles that could have been in your way for example i initiated a five-year plan in 2016 the first three and a half years worth of which has happened and it's in the past and i can only assume that the other year and a half is actually still coming towards me despite the fact that I didn't foresee this event happening on a global scale. But I still foresaw where I would be in five years time and I'm still heading towards that destination with everything I've got. So flexibility is, is really important. In fact, the law of requisite variety states that the person with the most flexibility controls the system. So I want to be flexible and control my system because my system's an exquisite device, an exquisite device that's doing its best to achieve everything 
that I feed it in terms of instructions. So I want to be clear and consistent about the instructions that I feed it. And lastly, if what I'm doing isn't working and I've done everything I can and I've done lots of things differently and it's still not working and I don't know what to do, then step four is to find the others. Find someone else that you trust who can give you the advice that you need at that point. Someone who knows what they're talking about. So probably not a friend unless they're an expert in the field of which your inquiry is part of. So lots of friends can give lots of well-meaning advice, but it may not be actually the good advice that you actually need at that point. Whereas someone who has the expertise and the skill and the um, knowledge and experience to help you, they're able to give you the good advice. Even if that advice is, is uh, at times challenging, but ultimately it's the right advice. So they're the four steps for how to become successful. Just to recap, step one is to have a plan and that's what the next video will be about. Step two is to know whether or not you're moving towards or away from the plan so you have some sort of feedback. How will you know when you're moving towards that plan in other words? Step three, if what you're doing isn't working, change and do something else and keep doing that until you break through. And step four is if none of that's working, then go and find someone who can give you the advice that you need to have so that you can get to what it is. Because the very fact that you can imagine where you want to be means that you're capable of getting there. It's just a case of how you actually get there. And sometimes we need advice from outside of ourselves. It's as simple as that. So they're the four steps for how to be successful, of which step one, if you remember, is to have a plan. So go ahead, think about three months, six months, a year, if you want to, 10 years. If you want to be really out there, then maybe 100 or 300 years. I have a 300 year plan. Of course, I'll never get to see that 300 year plan into its fruition, but it's a direction and it's a very compelling direction that I wish us all to move in to a better world, which everyone wants let's face it. And in the next video, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll pick up on this and we'll pick up on step one, which is the plan itself. So until next time, take care of yourselves, be successful in looking after yourself, look after your health, look after your mental resilience, be creative. And I'll see you next time.